decided to share this video as part of my Intro to Dynamics series. Remember to train safely within your ability and use appropriate crash mats. Ensure that you are all warmed up and ready to go and I'll demonstrate today's trick for you now. This is what we will be working towards. Let me show you it again but slowed down. Wonderful, let's get started. The first pose that we are doing is an Amazon. There are many different ways into Amazon and feel free to use your favourite. I'll show you which one I use. I face the right side of my hoop, which means when I lean back, I want it touching my left shoulder and my right hand will be down next to my butt. I get the hoop in my shoulder, jammed in the spot between my shoulder and my neck. Then my right hand is ready to grab the bar and push down as my butt slides off. Straight away, I push down as hard as I can with that right arm so it's nice and straight and it's jammed in my neck, which gives me the freedom to take my top hand off. My chest is facing into the hoop, which keeps me nice and stable. If I start to turn and face out of the hoop, this is where I won't be able to take my top hand off. So I want to continue facing towards the opposite bar so that I'm facing into the hoop and can be nice and stable to take that hand off. my bottom hand, which is my right hand, will continue pushing down the whole time. I don't want to let it slide forwards as I go into my Amazon. In that one, my hand slid away from me instead of pushing down and pushing my body up. We want to be pushing up so that it is touching our hip instead of our ribs. For the next transition to our hips, we want it down low so it won't slide very far. If it starts up close to my ribs, when I fold over to my hips, I'm going to get a lot of sliding down to my hip bones. From my Amazon, I want to change to a twisty grip. So I'm looking at the back of my hand and then putting my hand on the top bar. From here, I'm then going to look over the top of the hoop and start to fold my hips in half and pike in the middle. And then I can let the top hand go to give me a little bit of a push to go over the bar and fold into my hips. And this is why we want it down nice and low so that it's close to my hips already and I'm going to fold in half over the top of the bar rather than having it up high and sliding all the way down or if my body stays straight it will also slide further down which is uncomfortable. My hands in twisty grip, I do a big push, I look over the bar folding in half at the hips, I do another big push with my hand to fold straight over to my hip flexors which is where I want to be. In this one, I've started a little bit lower where it's up on my ribs. When I push and fold over the bar, it slides all the way down from my ribs, my tummy to my hips, which is much more uncomfortable to scrape the skin. Something else that can happen with this one is if your hand gets stuck underneath your hips, there's a couple of ways to change that so we don't get our thumb stuck. We want to look over the bar and as our weight is over the top of the bar and not in our top hand anymore, you can give your bottom hand a little bit of a slide away which takes it away from your hip bones and you won't crush your thumb. So that moment where I can let it go, I let my grip go slightly and slide it down the bar to re-grip away from me. So here if I don't move my hand you can see it was stuck underneath my hips which is where I want to slide it before I fold over. If it's a little bit difficult for you to slide that hand, another option that you have is instead of wrapping your thumb around the bar is to change your thumb to a cup grip so your thumb is out of the way when you fold in half.